Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the wooden churches of southern Malopolska in Poland. Now this World Heritage Site is a group of six Roman Catholic churches in southern Poland. They're all made from wood and they all date from the 15th to the 16th centuries. Now they were all built using a horizontal log technique using local lumber and it was designed to imitate the look of expensive stone churches in the cities. Now these churches are all very, very rural but they're very beautiful so let's have a look. Now this is the church of St. Philip and St. James, and it's outside the little village of Sokova. Now what's interesting about this church is that it was actually completely destroyed during World War I because this area saw very, very heavy fighting. The wood was used for trenches and things like that, but it was restored very, very carefully by locals. Now this church is dedicated to St. Michael the Archangel and it dates from around 1500. Now it is quite different to the shirkas that we've also been looking at because you can see it's just got quite a different architectural look. The, uh, the onion domes uh, on the roof aren't there and the steeple is quite pointed. Now it's also a different type of wood too. It uses fir wood local to the area, so it has a very different colour, a very rich brown, as opposed to the darker colours that we've seen elsewhere. This is the Church of St. Leonard in Lipnica Marovina. And this one dates from the 15th century. But what's interesting is that there are records of there being a wooden church on this site all the way back to the 11th century when it apparently replaced a pagan temple on the same spot. Now this one's quite a bit smaller than the other churches that we've seen, but it also is very, very well preserved. It's essentially unchanged since it was built. There hasn't been the later addition of a tower or anything like that. I suppose what I've found fascinating about these wooden churches here in Poland is that there's just hundreds and hundreds of them. They're very, very common. They're absolutely everywhere. So I think UNESCO has done a fantastic job at filtering out which ones are the best preserved and uh, the most well looked after as well. But they're all very beautiful and certainly something that I've not ever seen before. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.